This has been, I haven't really been recording, but this has been an absolutely stupid day, I swear. So I go to, I live out nowhere and the closest Yamaha dealer is like 40 minutes away. So I have to go out 40 minutes to Norfolk Marine, which they're great over there, but I'm like, yeah, I need a thrust washer. That's what I knew that I needed. That's what the guy told me. He said, you have everything else when I bought this. You have everything else. All you need is a thrust washer. I'm like, okay. Yeah, I don't know much about the big engines. You may know you haven't, but you know, I'm used to a little tiller handle, 20 horsepower. Anyway, <laughs> I uh, came back here, fit, great. Was putting it all on, had it all greased up, everything, and then went to put on the spacer that I thought I had and I don't. And I don't think anywhere else around here has that spacer, so I'd have to go all the way back up. I will have to go all the way back up if my brother, who works in Norfolk, can't get it after work. He may have to work late. He's a lineman and it's been storming. But uh, the spacer, you know, fits on these splines right on this shaft, and it goes, it's splined. So it basically just keeps the whole entire shaft in line. And then I put like a washer on that and then the nut on that. And this is all I have. I have the incorrect, I don't even know what they're thinking with this, the incorrect thrust washer, or yeah, I think that's what that is. The correct thrust washer and then the nut. But I don't have the spacer and that's, that's important. So anyway, I am putting on the cleats here. I'm gonna throw the last one up there, which will be a little bit easier. Put the other one over here. I'm going to put the anchor loops or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called actually. I'm going to put these up there. I can install this on the steering wheel, but that's not really a crucial thing. And this goes to the bow rail. So I'm going to just get as much done as possible in the next hour. That way, if my brother can't go pick it up, then I'll have to dip out and make it there before they close and hope I don't hit any traffic. All right. going to build this added wood right there. So those screws aren't long enough. Oh, no, no, no. Nothing ever does right, does it? Nothing. All right, we got it in. Thanks to the rod holder gunnel screws. It's 5200, oh, 5200, apparently the bow eye, but 5200, that right there. Interesting. I'm like, I'm not gonna make the same mistake as last time. These ones will fit. They freaking don't. Oh my gosh, dude. Why? All right, we're doing it right this time because I also see that he added more wood under here as well. He added a lot of the wood. I assume he replaced old wood to where this was before, but he put, probably put thicker stuff without realizing or, or, or I don't know exactly. And also he wanted to reinforce some of this in case he wanted to put a trolling motor on top. But um. This is what I got. So uh, I just drilled like little pilot holes in here that are obviously smaller than this. <laughs> and uh, we're just gonna go right in. Is that where the hole is? Yeah. All right. And that can sit right there. And if it 200 is to seal up because of the wood, you know, you don't want to expose the wood. That's why I had to rebuild the whole boat because the wood was exposed and rotted out. So. There we go. A little bit extra on this one, but uh, <laughs> that's okay, that's okay. There we go. Cool. Oh, something else that is uh, so obvious now that it's in, but I had to figure out for a second there is, um, do I put this one on this side or this one on this side? And if this one were to be on this side, well, you see how this basically looks like it shoots straight forward? Well, it would look angled if these were swapped and you want these facing straight forward when they're set. You see what I'm saying? Since they're on an angle? Yeah, so make sure they're always like this so that your anchor line wants to go forward. At least that's how I assume it's like that. It looks better that way anyway. 
All right, I have news. I have good news and I have just news. So the good news, my brother's a man. He works up in Norfolk. He was able to get a uh, uh, stop by Norfolk Marine and get the part. Hopefully it all fits and whatnot. If not, it's not his fault. I'm the one that called and said, hey, set aside this part. My brother's gonna come get it. So um, hopefully I'll be able to meet up with him tomorrow probably and we'll be able to get that on. And the other news is that I'm leaving. I'm going home, even though I didn't do as much as I wanted, because a few things came up. I don't know if I'm gonna include this, but my wife is having contractions and it's hurting her a bit, so I wanna be home with her for that type of stuff. And so I'm just gonna clean up here and um, get my ducks in a row, make sure I know exactly what I'm gonna do, and I'm going to go home. And actually, when I go home, that's what I'm gonna really figure out. Like, okay, I need to do this, 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 and that, and I'm gonna have a plan schedule for tomorrow when I come over here and I should be good.